Hello everybody. Today we will be checking out and riding all custom rides in this park. It's called Unnamed Baby Park 2. Which it has a very small entrance. Also has this really cool arch that I built. So the first coaster that I want to show you guys is this junior coaster. So the station is inside like literally all of it it just goes up here and here perfect timing so it's the old junior coaster <coughs> I don't have a name for it yet it's also not fully decorated which I need to do with most of our rides so it goes up into here there's a TV that has the Canadian flag on it I did that because I'm Canadian <laughs> and I might sound a bit sick today but that's fine. Or not fine. <coughs> so it does some stuff. Turns around like this. I think I'm yapping too much. Anyways, it breaks, it goes up there, into there. This is my second ride that I or second coaster that I built. It is a single rail coaster called Tree Tar Tree Top Tornado. So let's get on it before it starts. Hopefully there's nobody on it. <coughs> so it has two inversions. It's not that fast being like tops 48 kilometers per hour or something. <coughs> so there's some stuff. Some some turns. Airtime hills. <coughs> uh, a pretty big, uh, f fairly small loop actually. Just barely makes it over. And then to this really cool inversion. Turns here, goes up into kind of a spiral, helix kind of thing, and then into brakes, and then into a chain lift up. So that's the ride. All right, so we are at this station, and this ride is called. Let me check. Splash Cave. So let's go in for the queue. It is one of my most decorated rides. It has this fairly big queue. I like to make longer queues. So it's a splash boats ride. It's not my biggest, but my most decorated. And yeah, let's see it. It took sort of long to make. All right, let's go. It's got two drops. Or like three, I don't know. Two big drops though. So it goes into this fairly big underground cave. And then this part is super cool. So <coughs> let me just um do third person real quick. So so watch these. These are actual water emitters and I have a sequencer somewhere. So it turns off and then turns on. Isn't that cool? By the way, the sequencer is on top of that water there. So, it goes down into here. Turns around. Those lights actually turn on. Some crystals and supports to actually hold the cave up. Otherwise, it would collapse. Also, put some rocks around here. So, then we turn around here. Go up here. I don't know why it does that, but I forgot to fix that there. I'll fix it after the video. I mean, there was originally a, a different ride there, so that's why. But I'll fix it after. So, it goes into this sort of tunnel, like pretty open tunnel. It goes down, turns around, and then just a slight drop there. And right back to the station. <laughs> Alright, that was Splash Cave. We'll see you at the next one. Alright, we are at Sea Storm. So, there's a food court right here that I built. It's pretty cool. But we're focused on this ride right now. So, we have to go up a queue. And it's fairly fast. It's my fastest actual roller coaster going 52 kilometers per hour tops 
and it just goes into a booster. Fairly small loop. Barely makes it over. Just like Tree Chop Tornado. Again, does some turns and stuff. Goes into a big roll. And does this thing. And I feel like it actually gains speed there. And then again, does that same loop that every single coaster has. I don't know why they all have that, but they all do. See you at the next ride. Alright, we are here at Crystal Cavern. So, it has a big arch here, which I actually used it as a template. That's why it's there. So, we'll have to go down here. And again, you can barely see the, the cube path, just because I wanted to do like this with it. So, you have to go all the way down here. And through here. So this is the entrance. It's a dark ride. There's a little announcement guy here. For some reason. There's an announcement thing here, like for the speaker. The exit's right there. So let's go. <coughs> Doesn't go too fast. It's fairly long. Maybe like a minute or two. <coughs> so you can I wanted to make it so you could barely see the track. And just like Splash Cave, it's like the same thing, but it's a dark ride. And it's also not wet. Same, it's got like the same supports, the lights, crystals, rocks. I also use zero degree snapping for these. One default height snapping, but zero degree or no snapping for the other thing. So just sort of go around here fairly long slam right into crystals there <coughs> I'm probably gonna stop talking Alright, here it goes pretty fast. It's 250%, or it's the max speed that it can go. So it goes pretty fast, just because it's a long tunnel. Goes back to normal there. Does some turns and stuff. I'm going back to the station. So the exit is actually through here. There's, I might need a trash can here. So. Uh, goes around here, up here. Again, trash. I hate the trash. Just gonna add these. <clears throat> and then it just goes down here. <clears throat> I can go up here. Again, I made the, the queue look hidden. So it looks like a normal pal. Anyways, see you guys at the next ride. Alright, we are here at this next ride. It is a massive splash boats ride called warning wave it has two massive drops this one goes underground this one's steeper and doesn't go underground and it's really cool so we've got a fairly big queue here it's under the station so it's also yellow because the construction warning theme that I wanted to do for this. So, it's <clears throat> my highest actual coaster, like, or water ride or coaster. And it's also my fastest one, going 102 kilometers per hour top speed. It's 107 seconds long, so it's like, 
minute 40 seconds long or something. Yeah, minute 40. So nearly two minutes, just because of the lift hill. So anyways, this is the first drop, and I'm going to shut up. There's actually lights here that turn on, and we're underground here. That was the top speed part. But we're going into another lift hill. <laughs> I'll let you guys have a look at my park here. It's a bit of construction theme in here. I'll let you guys have a look at my park from up here. <clears throat> the chain lift speed is 250 just because of how big the chain lift is. And I'm also not in my private server because, yeah. I can't pay for those. <clears throat> and we go all the way down. Splash over here, smile for the camera, takes a picture. And you can see the station here that kind of has like spider legs sticking out, which I really like to do for my stations with primitives. Because <clears throat> like, if a station, like I can't build it under, like the primitives under it, that I, I normally like take the uh, uh, primitives and like build them out like this. Kind of indicates like legs for it, I guess. Looks really cool. So, yeah. Um, I believe that is every single one of my rides. Or co roller coasters in my park. Or not just roller coasters. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. But. Yeah, there's a glass panel here, and there's glass panels here. You can just like sort of see the ride pass by, but yeah, that is my whole entire park. Subscribe!